Hey, my name is Ron and my name is Isaiah and this is my godson and we're going scuba diving in the pool today but first we're gonna learn a little bit of science and then we're gonna set up the scuba gear and then we're gonna go in the water and hopefully mom won't arrive and see what we're doing until we're finished <laughs> ready yeah. yeah let's do it okay all right so a little bit of science when we go diving in the pool today there's two types of diving you could do. There's diving where you just have your mask and your snorkel, and we'll do that. And there's diving where we do scuba diving. Scuba is S-C-U-B-A. What does that stand for? Scuba diving. You hear about everybody going scuba diving. So what does it mean? Self-contained, underwater, breathing stuff or apparatus. That's what all that gear is. And who is that invented by? This is history now. A guy called Jacques Cousteau. And who was he? He was an engineer. See why engineer? See why science is important? He was an engineer and he was in the French military. And he developed something called scuba diving or the aqua lung. So the aqua lung, aqua is water, right? And lung is what you have in your chest. So like underwater lungs? Yes, correct. Literally, because when we can't breathe underwater, we could try. We're not fish. We're not fish. Fish could breathe underwater, but we can't. So we have to carry our air with us. So we don't carry oxygen. Oxygen is O2. We carry AIR, air. Air. Only air. Then we dry it and we filter it. And what do we do? We put it into that. See that? That's a scuba tank. So that's the S-C-U-B-A tank. We put air in that, and then we have a mouthpiece that we're gonna breathe from. You have two mouthpieces. You have one that's your snorkel, and you have one that's your regulator. So if you're just swimming on top and looking around under the pool, you could use your snorkel. But if you wanna go under and swim with the fish, you need the regulator and the tank. Cool. What's this? This is what we're gonna have fun in the pool with. This is called a toy. What's it called? A torpedo. A torpedo. And we're gonna go in the water and we're gonna play with that. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about science. Science is really important to us because one, it keeps us safe and two, it lets us understand how we will not feel or get hurt. The pool is not very deep, it's only six feet. So it's like my height, I'm, I'm six feet tall. So I'm only taking you maximum six feet today because we don't want you to be exposed to any danger or risk. So we're only staying in the swimming pool. When you're 10 years old and older, I could take you in the sea. Wait, with Daddy. that's only two years. Two more years? Yeah, two more years. Yes. We want to look at a relationship between the pressure, the volume, and the density of air. A-I-R. Uncle Rondo know the spell. A-I-R is air. Now, at zero feet or sea level, the pressure acting on you is one atmosphere. It is never okay for you to feel pain. If you feel pain, you must stop and say, I'm not okay. I need to go back up, equalize, and then we could go down to the bottom of the pool again. Okay? And what do you have to tell me? Yes. yes. No, what does this mean? It means go up. Uh, uh. Ah, but we don't want to go up, we want to go down. So this means to go down, right? Towards you, open to you. Towards you is this way. So open this way. This is an air pressure transmitter. This thing here. So this reads the pressure from the tank and tells you how much air is in the tank. But how do I, how do I know what the air is in the tank? Ah, look what I brought for you to see. I know you're gonna like this. I brought a dive computer. It doesn't do po um, games, <laughs> but look, nice screen. It tells you how much air is in the tank. All right, okay, Isaac. One left, one hand, two hands. Um, go, up, go, up, go, up. good boy, good boy. Right. There we go. Stand up. There you go. Stand up. Stand up. Good, good, good. You stand up? Yes. There you go. You good? You ready? Okay. All right. Tell daddy, okay? 
Uh, no, that means go up. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. And now tell him what. Bye bye, Dad, I'm going down. Alright. <laughs> All right, tell me, everything okay? All good? Any questions? No. Any problems? No. You ready to go and see some fish? <laughs> no matter what, keep that regulated in your mouth, right? Keep breathing. Okay? Good. Bye-bye. Have fun. Good catch. <laughs> Dive classes, when they're done right, can involve a little bit of history, a little bit of science, chemistry, physics, some math, a little bit of ocean conservation, talking about the environment. Of course, if it's done right, there's a lot of safety. And of course, as Izzy will tell you, fun and adventure. Enhancing his swimming skills, his airway control, and overall giving him a great water experience, which of course will benefit him tremendously later on in life. Just a quick word of advice to you parents and guardians out there. If you've got a loved one, a child who's interested in swimming, learning to scuba dive, learning to free dive, learning to snorkel, Never give up control of their safety to anyone. Stay involved, get involved like Sherlin is with Isaiah. Be hands-on, interactive, and take care of their safety. It's your responsibility first. Check out Izzy's signature move here. He's in an upside down position, underwater, in the pool, doing an overhead forward roll, launching the torpedo without even hesitating. Fournette, he's got his godfather's genes in there somewhere hope you guys enjoyed the video drop Sherlin and myself a line down below we'd be happy to answer your questions take care see you on the next video thanks for joining us hey hey put your face on the screen we'll see you on <laughs>